thank you. Uh, so sorry if I sound a little um, off today, but um, so I'm not I'm not here to like promote my my business, but I um, I do work for a technology company and I've been there 23 years and. I just kind of wanted to share with you folks some of the technology that we see in businesses. So day to day, that's what I do. I meet with different business customers um, here on Oahu and Kauai. I also help them, that territory as well. Just helping them to um, engage in uh, what they want to do um, in the future in terms of their operations. So maybe it's increasing revenue, improving efficiencies, um, really getting a handle on their day-to-day -day business and how technology can impact that. What we see a lot in businesses is they're passing businesses even from generation to generation, or we have new business startups. Um, and you wanna, you wanna get off the ground running in terms of having scalability, meaning that what I get today, I wanna make sure that I can use, I'm not, trying to update things every year or trying to buy new things every year. So I'm just gonna kind of get into this slide here. Um, like this kind of hits off of what Rick was saying. So by 2020, over 20 billion things, devices will be connected um, wirelessly. And that's uh, globally. And so 98% um, of businesses say that yes, technology is, is very important. and. 45%, um, like Rick was saying, of online purchases are done um, via social media digitally, right? And then even the workforce, um, we see a lot of companies where they're hiring the next generation, and if they're still doing a lot of paper forms, um, being able to hire the next generation who grew up where they had a laptops and iPads in their classroom, and then they come to work for you, and then you're giving them clipboard and paper. Um, <laughs> you folks are laughing, but I see it every day. Yeah. So um, you know, your your the likelihood of getting that next generation to work for you, um, and and really getting their skills to in technology is important if you already have that um, in your business. So. Um, I wanted to, just a couple of things, Internet of, IOT just stands for Internet of Things, and it's just connectivity. So things that we are monitoring now manually can be done via machines. So in other words, it's also machine-to-machine -machine technology, where instead of having a person, for example, if you own some kind of um, restaurant, and you know that your refrigerator or freezer has to stay at a certain temperature, um, you know, we have it where the um, the food safety will come in and say, okay, I need a log of your refrigerator um, for the past month. What were the temperatures for the past month? Well, I was working with this company who every hour they would send an employee there to check what the level was and write it down. Nice. So they're doing manual monitoring and you can simply just put a sensor in there and you can get the reading every minute if that's what you want. So it's just um, not getting rid of your work uh, force, but maximizing your workforce, that people that are doing manual things, what can you um, implement that's digital so that you're having them be out with the people, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so different ways technology can impact your business. First of all is the customer experience. Like Rick was saying, a lot of people want to do their research or they want to communicate. Oops, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, see, technology. No, I just showed you. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so um, you can just improve your customer experience that way. Um, you know, how many of you use the Starbucks app? You can be in the Starbucks and you still use the Starbucks app. <laughs> That's me, right? I'm just like, I'm going to I'm going to sit at my table and I'm ordering it on my phone. So, um, also to communicate better with your teams, that's internally or even with your vendors, um, having that technology, and then you know it's really impacting your business bottom line. So the next slide has a lot on it. Don't be overwhelmed, it's my last slide. But I'm gonna kinda go through some things that we, yeah, right, it's a lot. So, um, so I'm a solutions architect at Verizon, and so what we do is we help customers really with a lot of different categories of First of all is the cellular. So when you have, a, you're doing 50% of web traffic is now done mobile, mm -hmm. okay? So a lot of times companies, they'll secure their email servers, they'll secure 
their desktops and their laptops. But then when they go in the field and their employees are getting quotes, you know, sending out information, researching, invent checking inventory levels mobilely, um, none of that data is secured. And so that is probably what the um, number one focus that we work with customers on right now is being, that's that first top left box, is being able to secure the devices mobilely. And so what this allows you to do is it allows you really to um, put containers on your devices so employees can only um, access certain applications or if, they, if you let them use every application, making sure that it's protected against malware, uh, man in the middle attacks, phishing attacks, etc. So that's really important as we go um, more mobile in the future. Okay, so if you don't have a plan like that with your business, something to, again, we're just planting seeds on yeah. things that are available so that you can be successful in your business because the Bible says, you, in all you're getting, get wisdom. <laughs> get understanding. And so um, we just want to, that's what we're here to just showcase for you. The second one is is really your productivity. So again, we have very we can take any paper form and turn it into a digital form, so it looks exactly the same. That's what some of that is. We can also do, um, you know, at your office, you're connected via maybe internet, like Hawaiian Tel or Spectrum here in Hawaii. Um, but what if that gets cut? And a lot of times, everything, you know, your inventory, your ordering system, all of that is online. What do you do now? And so. Um, we have back, Cradle Point is just an example of a backup router system. So it takes your company's business and if Spectrum goes down, then it turns on wireless, cellular. And then when um, Spectrum comes back up, for example, then the wireless will shut off. So it can be automated that way. Um, again, even though we partner with a lot of these companies, so we don't necessarily make it, but our, our product is the network. So a lot of things can be done on the network. and. I, I'm a, like a business consultant, um, if you will, and so a lot of times we can get discounts for customers. So it's about that networking, right? Who do you know? If you went directly to G Suites, you might get a certain price. But if you can go to someone who um, has other connections, kind of like a Costco, right, uh, scenario, then um, you can get discounts. And so again, it's about that networking um, and who you know. And then the last one is just um, Verizon. Uh, has some a uh, purchased uh, fleet um, a fleet management system so basically we can basically track anything that's out in the field whether it's just making sure you know where your assets are um, and what your employees are doing without having to ride along so it's not necessarily big brother big sister but it's just gathering data so that you can run your businesses more efficiently if, if a customer is looking for something and you have a delivery truck out and you can they're like when where's my delivery and you can say oh you know what i can see my drivers at this place and it's eta to your location because there's traffic right now is 10 minutes you know it just it it um puts that trust in in there as a business that they can um know that you know what's going on in the field um, and the last one I'm really going to talk about here um, is one talk, you know, it's a VoIP system. What's cool about that is um, I can, my desk number is actually my, rings on my cell phone too. So whether, no matter where I am, if someone calls me, I'm only giving them one number and I'm get, not giving, me, giving them my personal number. So if someone calls me for my business, it'll ring on my personal phone as a separate number and I can text message back and forth. So just some things that are available that to, as, um, you know, you're, you're doing your business and some things that maybe you thought about or haven't thought about. Again, everything's scalable. So whether you're just, you know, one person shop or you're, you're bigger than that, um, you know, this is kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So everything's connected and a lot of people have heard about 5G and I'll just close with this. So 5G, what that really um, is going to do is that gonna, that's low latency. So that's going to allow for a lot of like... Um, you know, self-driving cars and mm. automation and all of that. And it's really gonna change the way businesses are run these days and the way um, consumers uh, buy. And I just really wanna encourage you with this to really think digital. Um, don't be afraid of digital. Some people who are um, using a lot of digital or like Rick said, social media, um, sometimes there's a fear there, but that's really the way, way things are changing and we're, here to help. There's a lot of people with your network that are here to help you um, with what you're comfortable and take the next step. So, all right. So just wanted to uh, give you some of that. And, uh,